A lot of the times when we see mixing tutorials, it kind of flows linearly, like one thing, one thing, one thing. But the reality is, is that mixing is actually very much a back and forth process. As we bring one thing in, it changes the perception of another. Here is a reverb that's going to give the vocal a little bit of that like poppy sort of um, sparkle. A plate is going to be a good choice. So I think what I want to do is smear this percussion element a little bit. First thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to absolutely pulverize this sound. Right off the bat, I kind of dig how that sounds. So we've got one other kick drum that we need to focus in on. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this all the way down to 30 hertz because I really want that like oomph to come out whenever that downbeat hits. And I'm going to start really pumping this up. Now I have the bass split into two separate frequency bands. That's kind of cool. For the snare layer, I like what it's doing. It's adding a little bit of ambience to the snare overall. I think I want to open it up a little bit, take a little bit of that transient out. Usually the things that we hear as the loudest are the stuff that's between like the one to three K range. Well, that's not where kicks are. In order to kind of get the compressor to react to what we're hearing, a high pass filter can be really useful. Force taking over, we're catching vibes. Pulling me closer, baby, I'm magnetized. So used to dodging feelings, but this feels nice. This course is available in the Slate Digital All Access Pass, which gives you thousands of dollars worth of award winning plugins, the industry's most game changing synthesizer, Anna 2 and the very best masterclass production courses taught by the industry's biggest pros, all for $14.99 per month.